All right, here we are. We're on Ford. We're going to review it from last year. We bought December 26. And the reason we bought it is because Trend. Everybody knows we're a Trend fan. And so first we're going to find Trend. We're going to find out what Trend is telling us, what we should be doing because of Trend. So you know this is a resistance point right here. We came down. We followed all of the support areas that we saw the market take us down to. So then over here you have support and we brought that to this point here, which was resistance, support, resistance, support, and then it was support and that helped us find our place to buy. We also came across here at support, support, and came straight across horizontally. It also helped us pinpoint the place to buy. Once we found this, we bought in, we went up almost 40%. We are holding this still, and we are coming down into a Fibonacci retracement level. So our trend, because we bounced off here, was able to say this was a support line. Now we have another support line. If we look a little closer onto this, we're going to start thinking about the trade. The trade of this says from bottom to top, we take our Fibonacci, we can trade our first trade at 61% Fibonacci. So, of course, we broke through, closed above, that gives us an entry point. Today, we close below the 61 Fibonacci, so we can buy. So, whatever your buying position is, if it's uh, $10 to $10,000, it doesn't matter. You know what your portfolio tells you to buy. So you can put your first entry right here. Of course, you see this. We have resistance. Resistance. Old resistance makes new support. We broke out here. Had a little resistance. Came back down. New support. New support even lower. New support now. So that's why this doubles as confirmation. 61 broke. And now you have a support level resistance to buy in. But where could this go? We also have these other lines that we used from the past, and the market could take it down a little bit lower. If we look at this next lower line of support, it would be a six, it's almost 7% lower, which is quite a big takeoff from the high. If we went down to this diagonal, which would be a double top, this would be almost 11%. If we went below that, it would be almost 25% off of the current price from where we are right now. That would really talk about a devastating market for it to go down another 25% lower, which would give us a divergence, obviously, because this low, uh, this would be a lower low. And so I'm sure on the VSI or the RSI or on the STO, that it would make a divergence, which would be another great buying opportunity. But for right now, we're looking at the 850 range to buy today, or that it would come down to the $8 range to buy if it comes down lower, or obviously back down to our lows that we bought at, at $7.50, and that would be 10% off. Now, the thing I want to look at, of course, is the overall markets. And what are the overall markets telling us? The overall markets are telling us for entering this trade, there is a little bit more down to the downside. And so we want to make sure that our stock is equal with the overall markets and what they're doing. So if we look at just the closest support line, we have support there, we have support there, we're coming down. If we take this candlestick and we come down, that is a 2%. So our first support line is around 2%, which would prove where we're buying, there's not much more downside. Next support line is 6%. So remember what I said? We had a 2%, uh, then we had a 7%, then we had an 11% to the downside. So if this comes down, breaks this little support line, comes down to here, which we have support back here and here and here, which gives us support here, which would be 6%. So if we look back at Ford and we were to calculate that as from this bottom right to here, that's 11%. I just don't think the market's going to pull back to 11% or even lower. I think it will probably stop here and turn or stop down here. But again, however you're going to play this trade, you can buy a percentage here. You can buy another third here. You can buy another third here. And if you want, you can buy more down here. It's up to you of how you're going to play this. But I'm putting in a trade today right here. So now that we've figured out our trend, you know, now we figured out our trade. Now we got to figure out what are our targets. So from the standpoint of targets, I'm going to just delete everything out. And I'm going to start drawing some lines. Where's this thing going to go? Where's our support? Where's our resistance? 
And, you know, for me, I think that this thing will probably come back to the highs. You know, it's crazy to say you're at $8.50 and you think this thing's going to come all the way back to $32, which is what, four times the money. So you could make almost 400% on this thing if it were to bring all the way back up to these highs. Oops, sorry, I was wrong. 300% profit. Uh, what happens all the time in the market? You know this when you watch the IPO entry place. Uh, something comes to market. It goes up or down. Most of the times it goes down. Where does Warren Buffett buy? He buys at the 50% off the highs. So, you know, this is the perfect thought. Are we going back to the highs? Ford is a stable company. I mean, they have tons of market share. To think that they're not going to come back to these $32 highs is a little ignorant on our part. They're, what are they in the money? The business of is making money. What are they doing in uh, Palo Alto? They're getting tech so that they can start implying tech into their cars so that they can be the cutting edge of uh, envy of everybody else. So, of course, we have a support level here. We have a support level here. We have a support level here. We have a resistance here. So I draw that line, and that takes us to about $16, which would be almost 100% profit, where that would be our first takeoff point. Our next point is you see this nice horizontal line that comes across here. You have resistance, 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 resistance. So obviously right around this $18 is another resistance level. If maybe this comes out, maybe in a year or two, uh, this 16 diagonal line would come up to this 18. So that would maybe be your first target zone. If you saw this as support and then here your support, longer support, here's resistance. That takes you up in the 24 to $26 range. And of course, this is going to take a year or two. And now, of course, we have support back here. We have support resistance here. We have some another resistance here, which takes us back to those highs of $34. So maybe in a five-year term, you turn that thing over, 300% profit in five years, fantastic returns for you, almost 50% a year. I know we're waiting for this to break out, but once we break out of this line here, resistance, 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 of course, then we are expected to be in an uptrend. So again, my first thoughts is that this is going to, one, double, right? As if you've watched the range trade, you see that we could take this box, we can activate that up, we could push that over, and where does that take us to? It takes us to a small high right here, right around $13. So you could buy this, sell it at $13, and that would give you a nice profit margin of 60% profit. When can you make 60% profit in just a small time of a year or two? I don't know. That's why I trade the stock market because it gives you the best returns. So my first would be right around $13 right off of this high here where these two pivot points come into play. $13.30 would be my first. My second would be probably $18. My fourth would probably be up here around $26 and $34. And just a little added bonus for you. You can see we have resistance, 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 support, support, and we have a pattern that closes us in anywhere between $8.11 uh, to where you are right now. Uh, added bonus for you to be able to confirm all of these things added up. This is a great buy zone. Until next time.